could you please talk a little bit about the process of getting ready for this movie? Well, you know, the, the, the beginning starts with the script, and we had, uh, of course, in the first movie, and we, we really wanted to, there's so many parts of the story that we wanted to tell and, mm. and uh, embellish. So uh, I worked with Alex Kurtzman and Bob Orsi on the script, and uh, I think uh, really built something that was special. It's the biggest Spider-Man movie to date. I'm, I'm pretty confident of that. And, uh, and you know, it was just talking with the actors and getting the suit ready, and we changed the suit to be something, I think, more iconic, more like the comic books. And uh, then we spent many, many months planning out the action sequences for the film. There's this action scene in Times Square that I think is uh, uh, pretty special. You know, there's a huge spectacle. There's a lot of uh, uh, fighting and, and, and trickery. But there's also something uh, emotional underneath it. You know, Spider-Man at the beginning of this, uh, the scene is trying to connect with Max Dillon, who becomes Electro. Mm -hmm. And the scene starts off with uh, Spider-Man, uh, this adversary, who starts off being a Spider-Man fan and ends up being a Spider-Man foe. And I think that's really interesting. Mm -hmm. What challenges and joys did you encounter while filming The Amazing Spider-Man 2? Um, I think because of its size, because of its scope, uh, you know, we had to spend uh, a lot of time developing you know, the action sequences. Um, I think there's the sequence in Times Square, again, was a, a brutal, very difficult se sequence technically. Um, because you have to keep the emotion alive. You have to care about these characters. But you also have to, you also have to service the spectacle of it. You know, it's difficult to figure out how to destroy Times Square. Mm -hmm. An incredible superhero challenged in a way that he's never been challenged and changed. I mean, it's the character. It's Spider-Man, isn't it? You know, I mean, he's this uh, iconic, uh, very storied character that represents hope for people around the world, whether you're in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, or whether you're in, you know, Kansas City, Missouri. Uh, whether you're in Russia or you're in Africa, I mean, that symbol is so recognized. It's an incredible thing to be a part of that. And um, there's also, it's a way to explore ideas and themes, and it's a really fantastic, action-packed story that I think people are, are going to really enjoy. When did you feel in the, this movie? Yeah? We shot from uh, January of last year through July, so it was about a six-month mm -hmm. shoot. We shot, it in, in, we shot it in New York City. The first oh. Spider-Man movie shot all in New York City.